guys, this is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and I'm gonna welcome you back to Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. Alrighty, guys, welcome back, you awesome, sexy people. Last time we defeated Misty, and we got our Cascade badge that makes badge number 30 in Kanto. Yes. Now it's time to head to Celadon City and get our fourth badge. We also went to Lavender Town, got the Kanto Radio Card expansion, and we caught ourselves that Snorlax on Route 11. Now the path to Western Kanto, aka Pewter City Palette, you know, stuff like that is open now. We'll go there later. I take my guard job very seriously. Hey, you have a Pokedex. Okay, you can go on through. Uh, thanks. I was going to anyway. Whatever. <laughs> but in any case, no big changes to my team since last time. They're all relatively the same. So, yeah, pretty much. Here on Route 7, you can find uh, Radita, Spiro, um, Growlithe in Heart Gold, Vulpix in Soul Silver. Ugh, Radicate. Um, Murkrow, both in Heart Gold and in Soul Silver. But the thing is, viewers, Murkrow and Soul Silver is 30% chance at night. Heart Gold versions on Murkrow is 35% chance. So there you go. Hundour can be found here. Um, Dark Slash Fire type, 5%. Meowth and Persian can be found here as well. So, you know, there you go. See, if you want them, you got them. So, yeah. But over here, we get a Mental Herb. Nice, for all you mentalists out there. What, what do you mean you don't know what a mentalist is? Well, you have not been watching Psycho Pass. No, 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 I'm just kidding. S Psycho Pass is fucking awesome. I love that anime. Don't you talk trash about my favorite. Well, one of my favorites. In any case, Celadon City. Hey, dude, your polygraph is still a polygraph? Or poly, wait, 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 wait what? Oh, you, I, I thought it was a poly world in the first gen. Huh, whatever. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little uh, brain fart there. In any case, hey dude, the game corner in this city used to be run by Team Rocket. But when Team Rocket was removed, this rich game loving man renovated the game corner for the fun of it. Oh no, please don't tell me the guy from Golden Rod Game Corner is running this, this region's game corner too. No! <laughs> I hope not. I really, really hope not. Holy shit. I, actually, I want to find out. Let's go to the game corner first. If it, if they made it if they made it the way it is in Golden Rod, I'm gonna be super pissed off. Huh. Well it looks nicer. Oh please don't let it be the same guy. No <laughs> How's it going? My name is Mr. Game. My heart pounds with excitement when people enjoy my coin game. In fact, that's what I live for. Go ahead and play it. Make my heart pound with excitement. Oh, god damn it. Why, Game Freak? Why? <laughs> Why? They fucked up the game corner in Celadon, too. Viewers, I was questioning this when we went to Golden Rod earlier, remember? I was like, I hope they didn't fuck it up. Yep, I hope, yep, and they fucked it up. <sighs> Viewers, you don't know how pissed off I am. I mean, not that it matters. I mean, if they got rid of the slots, they got rid of the slots. But why did they get rid of it? It's not like it was hurting anyone. I mean, they had the slot machines in the first three gens. Yes, viewers, even in Hoenn. So why did they remove it now? Whatever. But in any case, we got some new TMs here. We got Hidden Power, Endure, Gyro Ball, good steel type move, which um, works best if the Pokemon is slower and heavier, I think. Um, double Team, Psychic, as well as Giga Impact. Now, I'm going to get a Psychic TM just in case I want to teach it to Haunter. Maybe, if I care enough to do so. You can also get Giga Impact here. Giga Impact is physical based in this gen. Really, really strong, normal type move. So, I recommend it highly. So, uh, there you go. I'm gonna get two of them, just for the fuck of it. So, there you go. In any case, I, I put my Max Coins code in the video description of when we went to Golden Rod. What part was that? Was it part 8 or part 9? Check check one of those parts in the early parts of the Soul Silver playlist. I put the code there in case you want to use it. Because, viewers, if you're like me, you will not want to play this mini game. It sucks ass. So, there you go. The Pokemon prizes here, however, do not suck ass. You got Mr. Mime, 
Eevee and Porygon, which costs a stupid amount of gold. So, you know, there you go. But yeah, if you want to get Eevee, there's your chance. Uh, of course, you can get Eevee by talking to Bill. Uh, in Golden Rock City, after you meet him at the Ecotique Pokemon Center. I forgot to mention that earlier, but well, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, if you want if you want a free Eevee, go talk to Bill. But if you want more Eevees, go play the Game Corner um, game here. Or cheat and get the coins, which I would recommend you do. I heard there was a great con uh, great contestant from the Sinnoh region this year. A si from the Sinnoh region? I wonder who that is. Let's go check it out. In any case... Huh? Oh my god, it's Maylene! Hey, Maylene! Mmm. Oh, this tastes so fucking good. Uh, oh, <clears throat> The Edathon contest. I never dreamed of such a wonderful thing. After a strict diet during training, I can eat like a Hapaldon. <laughs> the winner eats for free, too. That's just a dream come true. Wow. So, may yeah, viewers, Maylene is the fighting type gym leader from the Veilstone Gym in Sinnoh. Yeah, yeah, that chick. With the Lucario? Yeah, her. So, there you go. Don't talk to me now. Ugh, food is going to come out of my mouth. <laughs> okay. Ew. <laughs> In any case, when it comes to eating contests, I'm quite confident. But I can't handle hot food. If I have to, if I have to hurry eating my mouth... Whoo, hot, hot, hot! In any case... Hey, can I get some grub here? Hi, we're holding an eat -a contest. We can't serve you right now, though. Sorry. Oh, that's... F whatever. I understand. What? This is the eat -a contest? Ow! <laughs> I thought it was a speed-eating contest. Isn't that what an eat -a contest is? Dumbass. Huh? Chef, merci beaucoup? No. But in any case, yeah, we can't get served anything. Oh, well. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. I won't want to spend my money there anyway. But over here we get a hit and PP up. Cool. Yeah, yes, viewers. I, I, you, I was about to make the, you know, the sexual in, in you window joke with the with the PP up, but I'll spare you guys from it this time. Only once though. You get one free non-sexual in you window. This LP. Use it wisely. In any case, let's go, Siege. Yeah. <sighs> Only place we have to surf here in town, by the way. You can catch Grimers and Muck here inside the water via surfing. Grimer started to appear recently. You see the pond in front of the house? It has Grimer, too. I wonder where they came from. Huh. <sighs> For such a beautiful ass city, you got some really shitty water here. Especially with Grimers and Mucks in it. <laughs> wow, that must suck Muck. No, that Muck suck. Never mind, that was fail. In any case, Cameron! How's it going? Let's take another picture. Why not? Huh, might as well take the picture in the biggest city in Kanto. Cheese! Nice. Good, good. Nice picture. You can check them all on your PC. Thank you, old man. In any case, how's it going? I love this kind of place where there's many buildings. I heard Johto also has the city has a city called Goldenrod that has many tall buildings. I would love to visit there sometime. Yeah, you should. Goldenrod is a beautiful place. Although the game corner sucks ass. But, you know, it's a beautiful place all around. Uh, I guess, lady? I guess? I don't know. <laughs> In any case, hey, dude, let me guess. Got something from me from Mom? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we get more useless berries that I'll never use. <laughs> so, yeah. But in any case, the Celadon Department Store, just like the Goldenrod Department Store, has some good stuff. It also has another old friend from Sinnoh! I recognize that wrestler mask anywhere. Crash your wake! Yes. Hmm. What's he doing? This is quite the mask. Huh? <laughs> oh, you talking to me? Your eyes are, are, are on my Crash your wake mask? <laughs> no, 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 I can't, I can never let it go. Huh, that's not it? You want the other mask? Hmm, okay. In any case, yeah, we get a Turtwick mask to add to our fashion case. Cool. What, that's not enough? You're quite the negotiator for your age. Alright, I'll give you this too. On the house. And we get the Chimchar mask. Nice. Thanks. Oh, uh, alright, fine. I'll give you all of them. Fuck it. Yay! Here we get the Piplup mask because Crash Awake is such an awesome guy. <laughs> it's okay. I've already paid for them for you. 
Presents for you from the one who wears masks the best. Don't be shy. <laughs> okay. If you don't recall, Crash Your Wake was the leader, is, well, is the leader of the Pastoria Gym in Senna. So there you go, the water type gym. Yeah, that guy. But in any case, it was so cool to meet, um, see Crash Your Wake and, um, and Maylene here. In fact, I think they're the only Senna gym leaders that we meet here. And, um, and Heart Gold and Soul Silver. The fact that they even added them in the game at all is just amazing. But in any case, we got some new TMs here, though. We got Frustration. It grows stronger the lesser the Pokemon likes the trainer, which is pretty much not going to be the case for you unless you feed your Pokemon a shit ton of mental items. You know, those those medical items, those, like, um... Those herb items. Yeah, they will hate the fuck out of you for that. Return, TM27, grows stronger the more the Pokemon likes you, which is pretty much always going to be the case. So, you know, there you go. It can end up being the strongest move in the game if your Pokemon likes the hell out of you, which might end up being the case. Now, TM87, let's see, user enrages the foe into confusion. However, it also sharply raises the foe. Oh, okay, this is Swagger. Okay, there you go. 78, this is, if the opposite... If it is the opposite gender of the user, the foe's charmed and destructive. Okay, I think this is... Is it Captivate? Or something or other? I, I, I think that's what it is. I don't know. My, my notes isn't giving me a clear message on these TMs, but whatever. In the case, this is definitely Taunt. This is Torment. Um, TM20 is Safeguard. TM28 is Dig. And I want to get another TM of that. There you go, for later. Um, TM76 is... Stealth Rock. Yes, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Stealth Rock basically... No, I don't want that many. There you go. Yeah, Stealth Rock basically... If you put it um, on the field... Um, if your Pokemon... If your opponent switches out or they switch to another Pokemon... They will take damage! It's a really nice strategical move. You put it to use, viewers. Um, TM55 is Brine. If the foe's HP is down under half, its attack power is doubled. This is the TM actually that um, Crash Your Wake gives you when you defeat him um, at the gym and send him. So there you go. Nice reference. TM72. Let's see here. It's a technique that inflicts double the damage if the user has been hurt by the foe in the same turn. Uh, I think that I think this is assurance. I think. Could be wrong on that though. TM79 is Dark Post. That's the TM that I got back at Victory Road. So, you know, there you go. But yeah, we got some pretty cool TMs here. Definitely um put them to use. Um the sixth floor has vending machines. Flip um fifth floor has the um the um uh, stat boosting um EV um vitamins as well as the um X I um the X items to boost your EVs in battle. So, you know, just like you know, the one in Golden Rod. Otherwise than that though, that about does it for our shopping, but we're not done just yet. We got a couple more places I want to check out first. Whew, yeah. Golden Rod Depart- or the Cine uh, fail. <laughs> the Celadon Department Store has a way better selection than the Golden Rod one. Although, I will give credit where credit is due, because this, the, um, Celadon gave- or Golden Rod gave us some pretty good TMs and some pretty good stuff way early in the game that we normally should've- shouldn't have got them. Like Ultra Balls, for example. You should be able to get that shit to, like, like later in the game to buy, but they make it so you can get it like way earlier. Uh, this is the Celadon Man, uh, the Celadon Mansion. Uh, you can find the Pokemon developers um, in there. You know the Game Freak guys. Yeah, those guys. Viewers, if you ever meet the Game Freak guys, ask them why they decided to make the go the game corner so shitty in this in this game. And viewers. Guess what? If you played the Sinnoh games, you know that the game corner in Sinnoh is nowhere near as shitty as this. I think I think they put the slot machines back in Sinnoh. But in Heart Gold, why the fuck would you make it this stupid? Why? Ugh. I, I... I don't know! But I guess that TM that we got there is Recycle. Basically, uh... Is it hitting... They removed it? Wow. Viewers, back in the day, there was a, a hidden passage back here that could lead you to the back of the Celadon Mansion that would allow you to get, like, a, like, I think it was TM, like, the cursed TM. Yeah, it's gone now. 
Wow. But yeah, TM67 um, is recycle. Basically, this TM will allow you to recycle... I think it allows you to recycle items that you use. Let me take a quick look at it real quick. Let's see. Here it is. Yeah, the user recycles a single-use item that can be used again in battle, so it can be used again. Basically, do you guys remember the, um... The W, um, item material in Final Fantasy VII? Yeah, it's basically that. So, you know, there you go. Otherwise than that, though, that about wraps it up for our sightseeing here in Soledad. Now, let's get to the nitty-gritty and get to why we're actually here. It's time to take out the Celadon Gem to get our fourth Kanto badge. And is this old man still here? How's it going? <laughs> this gym is great. It's full of strong trainer. Oh! They removed the Master Roshi reference here! Dex! Yeah, viewers, this old man here, back in the, uh, back in the first and second gen, this old man here was always peeping into this gym because, as you know, the Celadon gym is full of women. As such, you gotta have the Master Roshi old man pervert outside the gym peeping into the place. Th it was this guy. He said, Haha, this gym is great. It's full of women. But in the remakes of the Johto games, they say, this gym is great. It's full of strong trainers. Why? Does this game have to fucking censor everything? Ugh. I mean, not that it matters. I mean, the guy with the guy's creep. But at the same time, like, come on! You mess, like, you get rid of the slot machines. You get rid of the Master Roshi, um, pervert guy. Like, come on! Do you have to censor every fucking thing? Jeez. Ugh. Whatever. I will go more into a rant, but I'm afraid I'm going to end up um, offending somebody. So I'm going to just cut it short there. <laughs> but in any case, the Celadon Gym is pretty annoying in this gen. Basically, what you got to do is you got to maneuver yourself around these little garden uh, things, arches, whatever the fuck they are. If you thought the Golden Rod Gym was annoying, it was nothing compared to this shitty gem. I mean, it's pretty. I'll give it that much. It reminds me of... Um, it reminds me of the Eterna um, gem in Sinnoh. Making a lot of Sinnoh references today. But yeah, kill off the trainers. Their Pokemon range between levels 44 to 49. They're trash. Basically, you just want to get to Erica. Alright, let's see here. Alright, let's go with Jeremy to start. Yeah. We should already know how to deal with this gem. How's it going, Erica? It's been a while. Hello. Lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant, I'm afraid I might doze off. My name is Erica. I'm the leader of the Celadon Gym. Oh, you're from Johto, you say? How nice. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that you wished to challenge me. Um, why else would I be in here? <laughs> I know. I have been training myself not only flower arrangement, but also Pokemon battle. I shall not lose, because I love flowers! It's time for a gym battle boss fight! Versus Celadon Gym Leader Erica, the Grass Princess. Yes, the polite. Well, I, and now that I think about it, I think in the manga, wasn't Erica a bad guy in, in the Pokemon Adventures manga? Whatever, good chick, bad chick, doesn't matter. She's still going down the same way she does in every game with Air Slasher. Jump Bluff is Grass Slash Flying type, but it's still a Grass type, so it's still going down to Air Slash. Good douche. Yeah, that easy. Bye bye. <laughs> All right, next up is Victory Bell already. Wow. All right, there you go. Hey guys, let's give Matt some screen time. I haven't shut off my Magmar in a while. Let's go, buddy. Yes. Burn it to cinders. Victory Bell, Grand Slash Poison type, final form of Bell Sprout. But who gives a fuck? Psycho Kinesis. Yes. <laughs> Was you not expecting a psychic, Erica? Yeah, I think not. Quick ahead, super effective. Get the fuck out of here. Bye. -bye. In case, yay, level up. Good job, Matt. All right, next up, Tangula. All right, another easy bitch to get rid of. I see. Good job, Matt. You're up, Dustin. All right, now pretty much any. 
any one of my Pokemon can take out Erica. She is one of the weakest trainers in the game, or gym leaders, as far as type is concerned. Grass types have so many weaknesses. Metal Horn! They have the weak to bug, fire, poison, especially yeah, if they're pure grass, they are doubly weak to poison. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> There's so many weaknesses to take advantage of. It's just ridiculous. So, you know, there you go. Good job, Dustin. Isaiah, you're up, dude. Alright, Eric, who's next for the slaughter? Balassa! How's it going, girl? Don't go easy on me. Give me everything you got. Um, what do you think I've been doing this whole time? <laughs> well, now is the perfect opportunity to show off one of my favorite moves in the series. Outrage! Yes! Feel my outrage, baby! Feel my fury! Yes! GG no re! <laughs> Erica, that's good game. It's like I underestimated you. Why would you do that? Oh, I can see defeat. You're remarkably strong. I shall give you the rainbow badge. But in any case, yeah, we get the rainbow badge. I'm full of pride, baby. Badge number four and Kanto get. That was a delightful match. I feel inspired. Please, I wish you to have this TM-19 as a special token. In any case, it's Giga Drain. It's a wonderful move that drains half the damage and heals and inflicts air. Heals your Pokemon. It's a horribly intense move. In any case, TM-19, get to those A. Losing leaves a bitter aftertaste, but knowing that there are strong trainers spurs me to do better. Yeah, I'm sure. Get out of the drain is actually pretty good. That was, yeah, Erica was the only real, or well, one of the two console gym leaders in the second gen to actually give you a TM. But I'm glad that they, you know, followed the fire, red, and leaf green trend in which all the gym leaders, you know, gave you all those usual TMs that they give you in fire, red, and leaf green. I like that. Nice, it's a nice reference. But in any case, viewers, we defeated Erica. We got our um, rainbow badge. And, well, we're basically done this gym. Assuming we know how to get the fuck out of here. There you go. Gym is a maze. But in any case, we got our rainbow badge. We explored one of the best cities in the game. No, Mom, I'm not answering the phone. Thank you. Bye-bye. In any case, we're done here, viewers. Next time on Pokemon Soul Silver, we will head south to Fuchsia City get some southern comfort baby if you like this video please be sure to well like the video <laughs> and of course share it with your friends if you have something to say leave a comment and of course you want to see more of me hit that subscribe button hit the bell to stay notified and got something to say leave a comment i think i said that already <laughs> so next time my friends it's mike from race break gaming and i hope your rage breaks have a great day smell you later